Hey, Shalom, Shalom Akim, of course, called Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule in peace as well. Peace and Shalom to the Akim out there and the elect, which the elect consists of the men, women, and children selected to make it out of here from the coming nuclear destruction, all right? I'm the brothers of Yan Allah, the DC camp, coming at you with another video, another uh, questions for the Christian church as I like to do them every so often. It's been a while since I've done a questions for the Christian church, but I like to do that. It's mainly to jog the minds of the elect that are still in a Christian church state of mind. Because we do know that there are people, all right, that are still wrapped up in a Christian state of mind that's going to eventually get up out of there, you know. So it's just to pose a question to jog the minds of those people. You know, we do all things for the elect sake. The ones that's going to get it is going to get it. The ones that's not, they're not going to get it. So this is a question for the Christian church. Then Hannah having an immaculate conception too, meaning also, you know, the T-O-O. Did Hannah have an immaculate conception also? And I say that because, you know, the immaculate conception, a lot of people believe that uh, Mary did not have sex with Joseph. And therefore, um, God came and put uh, a seed into Mary and out came uh, who they call Jesus, who they ignorantly call Jesus. Another uh, way they believe that the Lord sent an angel and the angel basically known Mary and then out came, you know, Jesus, you know, as they ignorantly call him. His name in the Hebrew is Yah Hawashai. Okay, Yah meaning he, Hawashai meaning savior or deliverer. Okay, all right. That's, those are both ways they believe that you know, um, the Lord came on the scene through Mary having sex with no man. All right. But I've, I've made another video. Brothers, you know, have made many videos on this topic through the years. I made another video um, some time ago saying that there were other births like Yahweh Shai's already before he came on the scene. It was other births like his. All right. But I'm going to pick this particular. Um, I'm going to go to First Samuel after this. After I brief on this, I'm going to go to. Uh, you know, first Samuel, the second chapter. And I'm going to touch on this particular scripture after I read this one right here. Now, this is uh, Matthew 1 and verse uh, 18. As you can see, it says the conception and birth of Yahweh Shai. Because once again, that's his name in the Lashwan Kodash, ancient Hebrew, holy tongue. It says, now the birth of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. And one thing that people fail to realize is that both of those individuals were Israelites. Israelites had customs. Okay. And when you go through the law, you can see the customs that Israelites had. Before they came together, meaning what? In marriage ceremony, she was found in ch with child. Remember, Israelite men and women had customs back then. All right. Now, when a man took on a wife... Whether he took her uh, by, number one, the act of taking her by force, and he lied with her, he would have to go to the father, of course, explain to the father what he has done, and pay the father 50 shekels of silver. And the father can choose to give his daughter over to him, or even not do it, in some cases, and still not give him over. You see? That's one aspect. And then you have the other one where um, the two are espoused together. The, the woman is betrothed unto the man. Arranged marriages. Okay? And yet the father will receive of that 50 shekels of silver and, and so on and so forth. Okay? But those are things that we have done as a nation of people. Okay? Right? So when you look at these scriptures, don't look at it just, just reading over. Actually picture the people being Israelites and having customs. Okay? Now it says, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. See, now also um, John the Baptist was a child of the Holy Spirit. But, you know, that's, that's, you know, a different lesson. I'll move into a different lesson. We've covered that before. You can read Luke, the, uh, um, the first chapter concerning John the Baptist. And then Yahweh Shai again. This says, um. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, mean just meaning what? Righteous, observing the divine laws. Just. 
and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privately, privately, right? Because he didn't want them to get in trouble because he didn't do the traditional way of going to the father and paying the father 50 shekels of silver. Okay, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David. All right, yeah, because the Lord's line was through, uh, um, through went all the way back to King David. Okay, all right, Mary's line did too, but also Joseph's. And then we know that the lines go of your father. Thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And he has the Holy Spirit on just like John the Baptist did. Now I want to go to, you know, the lesson in hand. Then Hannah, you know, as well, then Hannah, okay, have an immaculate conception the way that Mary did in your mind, okay? Based off of this scripture, I'm going to go to um, 1 Samuel. Salaki, bear with me. 1 Samuel. The second chapter in the uh, 18th verse, okay? Samuel, and they even have a little subtitle right here, right? Samuel before the Lord as a boy, right? Because this is 1 Samuel 2 and 18. But Samuel ministered before the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Shai, being a child, girded with a linen ephod. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat and brought it to him from year to year. When she came up with her husband, to offer the yearly sacrifice. And Eli blessed Elkanah and his wife and said, Yahweh, you know, it says, Lord, when you look it up in the Lashawan or the Paleo Hebrew, it says, Yahweh, give thee seed of this woman for the loan which is lent to the Lord. Why? Because remember, uh, Hannah prayed to the Lord to receive a man child because she was barren and the Lord shut her womb up. See, if these women truly wanted a child, they would have to pray to Yahweh Shemel Shai. You have to pray to Yahweh Shemel Shai in everything. But if you truly wanted a child, you have to pray to Yahweh Shemel Shai. The Lord is the one who controls who comes on the earth and who who doesn't. And by uh, what means, what method, by whom? You see. And she had um, faith enough to know I need to pray to the Lord, okay? And um, that was one of the things she did. She prayed to the Lord for a son and said, If you send me a man child, I will give him over to thee to serve you all the days of his life. And that's why he's up there with the priest Eli, okay? And she's going up to him year to year, okay, with that little coat, right? It says, um, when she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice, and Eli blessed Elkanah and his wife and said, Yahweh, give thee seed of this woman for the loan which is lent to the Lord. And they went unto their own home. Verse 21, and here's the point. And the Lord visited Hannah so that she conceived and bare three sons and two daughters. And a child Samuel grew before the Lord. See, the Lord blessed her multifold because she was once barren. You see? And she prayed to the Lord. Okay, Eli saw her moving her mouth with no words coming out, but she was vexed in her spirit. She really wanted a son. She, that was her reproach, being uh, barren. And then, you know, Eli blessed her after that moment, you see. And then he blessed her again when he said, what? The Lord give thee seed of this woman. And she went back and got, what, three sons and two daughters. So now, totally, she has, in, in total, I should say, she has four sons and two daughters. A ultimate blessing of the Lord by keeping faith in Yahweh Bashem Shai. Now, based off of the 21st verse, it says, And the Lord visited Hannah so that she conceived and bare three sons and two daughters, and the child Samuel grew before the Lord. Based off of how that is written, did Hannah also have an immaculate conception? Because it didn't say she got with Elkanah. It said, Hey, the Lord give thee seed of this woman. And then it said, the Lord visited Hannah so that she conceived. All right. So does that mean that she also had an immaculate conception based off of how the scripture is written? Okay. That's my question to you. To us, we know that. No, obviously she had sex with Elkanah, her husband. Okay. Obviously, but the way it's written, it would look like hey, and the Lord visited Hannah. 
you got to have spiritual discernment to understand these scriptures, okay? Now, I'm going to go to um, uh, verse 9 through 11, and it says, um, let me see. Child did minister. Let me see. Because I pretty much hit the point, but let me see. Year by year, right? Because we talked about that. As a matter of fact, let me see. Now, that's pretty much the point. That's pretty much the point because this is one of those questions videos. It's a question video. All right, so I don't want to make it into too much of a lesson, even though I did cover certain things, but it's a question for the Christian church, all right? So with that, call Haloyim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and shalom to the elect as always, a double shalom.